good morning, everyone. Welcome to our promotional webinar for Marathon Lead Generation and Conversion. Paige, are you there? I am here. Welcome, everybody, to the intro to Marathon Lead Gen and Conversion. Become a human auto dialer with MAPS coach Richard Schulman. Today, this webinar is being recorded. The recording will be sent out to all attendees and those that are not on the line that signed up for the webinar. Please feel free to share that link with anyone in your market center that you may find of this of interest to. Um, if you have any questions, please type those into the questions box located in your webinar taskbar. Following the webinar, if you have any questions, you can email us at fasttrack at kw.com. That's F-A-S-T-T-R-A-C-K at kw.com. And that's all for me, Richard, so you can take it away. All right, great. Thanks a lot, Paige. Good morning, everyone. Happy uh, Wednesday to you. My name is Richard Schulman. I'm your MAPS group coach for Marathon Lead Generation Conversion. This is uh, my favorite class to teach of all the things that I do teach. So today we're going to share with you a little bit about the class. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through uh, a demo of what we do. And to really help you understand the value that we want to provide, we're going to give you a lot of good actual content that you can go home and take away and use. My hope is, is that when you take the call today and you implement the action items I'm going to give you, you're going to see some results. And then from there, you're going to want to obviously sign up for the class. So let's go. Um, here's a little bit about me. I've been at KW for 11 years. Uh, August will be 12, so I guess I'm 11 and a half now. I am a training junkie. I am uh, very into training. I've taken just about every class and call and uh, been to eight family reunions and a few mega camps and everything in between. <clears throat> I run a sales team here in the West L.A. area in Santa Monica. We've sold 1,350 homes for just under $700 million in sales. In the uh, the last several years, we've been running about 150 to 170 sales per year. And we have about 17 people on the team right now. On top of that, here are some other things that I do. And the reason I point that out to you is to think about all of these different things are businesses. And one of the things I love about Keller Williams is that they've taught me the idea of building uh, a wide life, a big a big world around me. And they've taught me the idea of building passive income, right? So profit share, a construction business, um, market center ownership, not always passive, but somewhat. Uh, being a rental property owner, same thing, not always passive, but somewhat passive. Uh, more passive, at least, in the, the sales business. Um, all those things are businesses that start and end with lead generation, right? If I stop lead generating and converting leads for any of those businesses, those businesses drive quickly. So whether it's my sales business, my day-to-day -day sales business, whether it's prospecting for new salespeople and admin for my team to grow my sales team, whether it's sourcing rental properties, all those things start and end with lead generation. The reason I want to make that really clear at the beginning, it may seem obvious, is I want you to understand that the idea is that everything that we do requires us to purposefully and in a focused manner generate business and convert business to fill our pipeline. If we stop doing that, I'm having a lot of trouble with the mouse today. <laughs> if we stop doing that, all of our businesses then stopped as well, right? So if we stop generating leads in a purposeful manner, then our businesses stop. Because that's the whole point of our businesses, to generate leads, to convert into a pipeline, to eventually come out the other side as referrals and closings. So if we stop those things, everything else stops. So how do we keep those things going? So I'm 14 years in real estate. I still come in the office every morning. I'm still one of the first people here in my office every morning, and I pick up the phone and I do my dials. So let's talk about how we're going to do that in a better manner, right? How are we going to make more phone calls? How are we going to make better phone calls? How are we going to make more appointments and better appointments? That's the whole point of the class is to make more and better appointments. The first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to focus on volume of calls. So if you look at the progression of how lead generation works, right, how the sales process, the sales cycle works, on the far side, this works better if you could see me now, but on the far side, the beginning of the process is volume of dials. And from there, it would go next, once we master volume of dials, we'd want to master converting into appointments, so our conversion rate. And then from appointments, we'd want to master signing contracts with buyers and sellers. And then from there, we'd want to master opening escrow and then closing escrow, right? So the first step is always to master volume of calls. Now, the reason we start here and that we spend a lot of time here at the beginning is because we really want to focus on mastering the beginning of what we're doing. If we master volume of calls, if we master conversion to appointment, we can increase our results so much. 
I find that as agents, we spend an enormous amount of time trying to do all these things that are not going to return to us. The same thing that is if we just mastered making a lot of calls and making a lot of calls with really great scripts and high focus and purpose. If we just did that, we could get away from the Zillows, we could get away from expensive marketing campaigns, everything else. All we need to do is just pick up the phone, call a lot of people, and call them with a high degree of purpose and skill. Now, one of the ideas for this came from John Wooden, who was the coach at UCLA. He was the basketball coach there for a long time. And the idea was that the first thing he did when people came to training camp every year was he had them learn how to put their socks and shoes on properly. Because if you didn't do that, you could get blisters, and then you couldn't do anything else well. So we want to do the same focus, right? So with my team, we spent a long time for years training them on advanced sales techniques and all these different things, and we never got the results that we got is when we just sat down and focused on day in, day out, volume of calls, skill level of calls. So we're going to replicate all that here, right? Everything we're doing here is the same thing I'm doing with my sales team. So the first challenge I'll tell you is the, the volume of dials. Now, there's different types of calls that you're going to be making. If you're circle dialing or cold dialing, um, that's a lot higher volume of calls, and you'll be using an auto dialer. So we will have a training specifically for that within the class. If you're calling your warm leads, you're probably manually dialing them. And so for that, we want to see you making a minimum of 20 dials per hour, but really the standard is 25 dials per hour. So we're going to show you how to do that. You can try that today. It's Wednesday morning or maybe Wednesday afternoon for some of you. After the call, <clears throat> take five, grab a coffee, get your list of numbers ready, and sit down and make your dials. If you're not making 20 dials an hour, you're really hurting yourself and your productivity by year end, right? Now, we're going to give you different standards along the way for all types of different type, uh, sections of calling, like, for example, circle dialing. If you're nurture dialing through your sphere on a single line dialer, we'll give you a different number for that. That's probably 40 to 50 dials an hour. Circle dialing might be as high as 150 dials an hour. And calling your warms, your database, your hot leads, that's going to be in 20 to 25 dials per hour. Either way, we'd like to see you hitting a certain number of appointments per hour. And that's somewhere between one and two appointments, depending on the database that you're calling. All right, so how do we make 25 calls in an hour, right? It's not as easy just doing it. We have to actually think about how we're going to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get really focused on calling. So back to a sports metaphor, think of this as your Super Bowl, right? Every day you're going to come into the office, you've got a game to play. You're going to get everything else ready, and nothing else matters while you're playing the game, right? Now, that, that energy, that focus energy is all going to be directed at making your dials. So no Facebook, no distractions, no email, nothing else. Just making phone calls, making good purposeful phone calls. I promise you that if you make two hours of good purposeful phone calls a day, and hopefully three, you will have a much larger business and a much happier life because you'll realize that everything else becomes easier or unnecessary when you're doing that volume of lead generation. Second on the list is having a list of numbers to call. That sounds super obvious, but I see agents constantly, whenever I'm doing this live or with my team, I see agents always not having numbers to call. They're not ready to call. When you're calling, you have peak energy, right? You may only have that peak energy for one to two hours at a time. And it, if you're making phone calls at a high level, it is, it is mentally exhausting. Right? If you don't have numbers to call, you're burning that peak energy looking for numbers to call instead of on converting people into appointments. The next key, and write this one down, is not to pause. Every time you pause, it breaks your momentum, and it really hurts your productivity. Every pause, is, is you're losing a dial there, and we find that people who are pausing a lot are making 10 to 15 dials an hour versus 20 to 25. It's an enormous difference. Now, originally, when we started this class about five years ago, it was called Human Auto Dialer. Now, a lot of you have easier and less expensive access to auto dialers, and I believe that you should be using an auto dialer. What I find is that uh, the auto dialer solves a lot of these problems by generating the numbers ahead of time and preventing you from stopping. Now, we will give an auto dialer training at, in the class to help you go through this, but some of the st sometimes you still want to be manually dialing, like when you're calling your really warm leads, you're, you're trying to convert into a contract. Now, the challenge is, is that if you're making fewer than 25 dials per hour, you're literally stealing money from yourself. I'm really cr crystal clear on my purpose. I'm really crystal clear on the fact that I'm here for a reason. I come to work every day to make dials to support my family. And if I'm not making those dials, I'm away from my family. I'm cheating myself and I'm cheating them. So I'm really focused on the fact that if I'm losing productivity, I'm really costing myself money and time. 
So we're going to solve that problem. We're going to figure out a better way to do this. Um, we're going to figure out how to make our dials go home early and make more money and have a better a better lifestyle, a better work-life balance, right? And here's the challenge. So we're into March now. The class starts in a couple weeks in April. Um, we're going to basically show you a way that you can make 5,000 more calls a year without working any extra time. The only extra time I'm going to ask you to work is if you're not actually doing your lead generation right now and if you're not actually practicing on your scripting, right? By doing those two things, we're going to make 5,000 more calls a year. We're going to make those calls at a higher level. We're going to set more appointments, and appointments will get you paid. So everyone's good there. Everyone agrees on that. And by the way, that's 5,000 calls. That's just 10 calls extra per hour, two times a day, five times a week, 50 weeks a year. You even got two weeks of vacation. And <clears throat> Here's some information on the class. If you want to sign up, it's marathonconversion.com. Don't worry, there's more of the call to go, but I wanted to let you guys know ahead of time in case you were wondering. We still have about 20 minutes left. The class starts a couple Fridays from now, same time, 9 a.m. It's five one-hour webinars. The webinars are all recorded. The investment's a very small 149. We've had over 1,100 people through the call, and they've all been very happy. Marathonconversion.com. All right, jumping back in. When you're making your calls, how are you making them? How are you showing up on the phone? We know from MAPS coaching, we know from a lot of our sales training that most of sales, most of communication is nonverbal. So even though we talk a lot about the words that we want to use, the words that we want to use are not always the most important thing. Right? What else, what are the most important things? It's how you present the words. So when I'm calling, I want to stand, I pace around the room, I walk around the office, I'm notorious in my office for wandering the halls on the phone. I have a mirror that I can see from my desk that allows me to uh, really focus on smiling while I'm dialing. Try this right now when you're making your phone calls today. It's try, try smiling, physically smiling while you're on the phone, and you can actually hear a difference in your tone, and your potential clients can hear that difference as well. So by doing these little things, these are all habits you're going to have to build, and we are going to talk a lot about habit building. By doing all these little things, you're going to increase your conversion simply by increasing the energy you bring over the phone and by helping your clients feel the difference in you, right? If you call with low energy without purpose, your clients will feel it. How do you call with high energy and purpose, right? So we're not doing this, right? We're not doing this in every call. We're not calling with purpose. We're not executing on very simple habits. So I've given you probably eight very simple things to do that will help you increase your sales, will help you increase your conversion. You will be happier when you have more sales in less work or more sales in the same work. Why are we not doing it? So this is a very interesting topic. It's not directly on topic for our class, but I do like talking about it because I think that unless you have very clear, concrete goals, if you, unless you have a big why, it's going to be very hard for you to really bring the energy you need day in, day out to make phone calls, right? I'm not going to tell you making phone calls is incredible. I am going to tell you that the results of making phone calls is incredible. And if you connect those two at a very high level, you're going to experience a different result, right? So if you have a very clear big why, now remember a big why is not a financial goal, right? You have a financial goal. I want to sell X number of homes this year. I want to make X number of dollars by selling X number of homes, right? But the big why is what do I do with that money? What am I going to do with that money that I'm going to make? Is it going to be a rental property, buying a house, buying a car, paying for college, going on vacation? Whatever it is, you need to have really ultimate clarity on this topic because that will help you get through to your big why. Right? Your big why is clear. Your big why connects to your goals. It makes it very easy to pick up the phone and dial every day. <clears throat> I came up with this about 10 years ago. That I just decided that every phone call is worth a certain amount of money to me. Right. Originally, it was based on a, a formula, and I'll show you that in a, in a second. I originally started that every phone call was worth $32, and then I kept moving it up. And then I sort of arbitrarily decided that each phone call is worth $100 to me. So what I'd recommend that you do is print out a sheet of paper that says each phone call is worth $100 to me right there. Tape it where you can see it from your desk or your workstation, make it the wallpaper of your computer, whatever it is that you need to do to make it a focus of yours. And understand that if you focus on that, that every phone call is worth $100, that you will understand that if you don't hit your phone calls, you're costing yourself lots of money. A challenge in our sales business is that we're a pipeline sales business, right? 
I have two meetings today with people who may or may not buy a property in the next 12 months, right? It's going to be a long time before I get paid for my two social meetings that I have today. But I'm ultimately connected to the fact that when I do get paid on those meetings, it will be worth it, right? I'm connected to the long term. It's very hard to pick up the phone today to set a meeting for next week for a sale that might happen in seven months. That's part of our business. So if you connect to yourself that the, fo that the phone calls are worth money today, then it will help you get through that challenge. It will get, help you get through to dialing, right? Every time you say, I've made 19 calls, I want to stop. Remember, that six more calls were worth $600 to you. All right, on the right side of the screen, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, we do have a question bar. If I do have time at the end of the call, I will take questions. During the class, during the five one-hour webinars that we do weekly, we do answer every question. We also have a Facebook group that you can ask questions in or you can call or email me. And uh, this will be the eighth time through we've answered every single question that's come through. We don't intend to change that. So it is a very interactive class where I want you to be involved. I want you guys to be able to ask me a question to make sure that you're understanding the material and to also focus on what you want to learn. All right. And, and to clarify that, we got a question in on that. So when I say dial, we're just talking about number of outbound dials, right? The first thing we want to track is outbound volume of dials. From there, we're going to track contacts and then appointments, right? So a contact is going to be any person picking up the phone and talking to you, no matter what they say. An appointment is any face-to-face -face meeting with someone, showing appointment, buyer meeting, seller meeting, social event, etc. So right now, we're just talking about dials, right? The first thing we want to master is dials. I don't want to move to step two until we've all increased our outbound number of dials. Once we increase our outbound number of dials, we want to work on increasing contacts and then increasing conversion to appointment. Right, perfect timing. What's the point of a phone call? This will really change your business. Right, this again seems very obvious, but as I watch people make calls both on my team, in my office, and when I go out in the field and do live trainings, I see people talking on the phone for a long period of time, right? We're not gonna have appointments on the phone. If you're having appointments on the phone, you can be replaced by a call center somewhere else. You can be replaced by a website, right? If you heard Gary at Family Reunion, remember this threat is very real, and that as agents, if we want to automate the process of real estate, someone else will take that over for us, right? I believe that our clients need us in person with them, sitting with them in their living rooms, walking them through properties, helping them through the process, but if we make it a, a, an online virtual business, we will lose. So how do we fix that? We want to make face-to-face -face appointments. The goal is to make face-to-face -face appointments. Today I have two buyer meetings, I have a showing, and I have an interview with a pension central team member. That's four appointments that I have today, right? If you're not making two or three appointments face-to-face -face every day, you're not doing the things that you need to do to succeed. Every day I do phone calls in the morning in the office, and I do meetings outside the office in the afternoons. That's the business. So when you're making phone calls, remember, the point is not to have a 10-minute conversation, 20-minute conversation. The point is to set an appointment. Do you have questions about real estate? Great. I'd love to meet with you. How is Wednesday or Thursday for you? Right? You want to limit your phone calls to three minutes. If you're going over three minutes, you're costing yourself productivity. If you actually get very good at this, it's very easy to hit 35 manual dials in an hour if you're keeping your phone calls short and converting for appointments. So how do we convert for appointments? So I'm going to teach you a lot of scripting within the class. What I want to focus on within my class is not just a list of scripts to memorize, although we will give you some of those. What I want to focus on within the class is I want you to understand why we're saying what we're saying and how we're saying it. Right? When you ask for an appointment, you're being very passive. We want you to tell people that there's an appointment coming. So it starts with a mindset shift that we're the experts. Right? We think that we're on the phone begging for appointments or begging for business. We're on the phone calling people, offering our services, and if they want our services, the next step is for us to meet in person, right? Your attorney doesn't call you and say, do you want to meet, right? The accountant doesn't say, what do you think we should do about your taxes coming up in a month, right? They tell you what to do and how to do it, and if, and if you want to talk to them, then you go to their office, right? So for buyer scripting, you're getting on the phone with a buyer. Here's a better script. Here's a better way to do it. And the reason why I'm very particular about this is that we're talking about how to think about scripting differently. By teaching you how to think about scripting differently, we can change your result in other facets of scripting as well. 
if you get used to talking in the form of directing people with what to do, it will change how your world works as far as writing offers, showing homes, managing requests for repairs, handling price reduction, all types of things, right? First, speak to the lender, get pre-approved, and then I'll meet with you, and then we can tour homes. That's a great script for, I'd like to see some homes, please, right? Great. First, speak to the lender, get pre-approved, then I'll meet with you, and then we can tour homes. Right? We're telling them the process instead of asking them. Right? We're not being passive order takers. We're not allowing the client to direct the flow of the activity. When the client is in charge, when they're directing the flow of the activity, the results will not be what you want. They may have been what you wanted for the last few years in a hot market. As we shift to a slowing market, you will have to become a skills-based realtor to continue to have high success. There's one for sellers, right? And we're going to go deep, deep, deep into this, right? This is just a, a quick overview. Uh, the previous one, we do an hour call on this one, we do an hour call on. This is for setting seller appointments. Your you know, seller says, I'm curious about the value of my home. Great. The best thing for me to do is to come to your home and give you a personalized evaluation. Is Tuesday or Wednesday better? Now, you may have seen something similar to this before. What I want you to understand is that we're changing the question. The question is not, do you want me to come to your home? The question is not, can I come to your home? The question is, is Tuesday or Wednesday better? Our simple reptilian brains hear that question and focus on answering that question. If you ask someone, do you want me to come over, they're focused on giving you a yes or no answer. If you focus them on, is Tuesday or Wednesday better, they're focusing on that question instead. You will get a much higher conversion rate by using this very simple change in scripting. Here's another one, same idea, right, for showings. Great, so we'll show you the one house that you called about, and then I can show you a couple more right afterwards, what time is best, right? When someone calls to see a property, we go right for the close. You want to see a house? I want to show you a house. And I'm going to show you a couple more too, what time is best for you, right? We're taking control of the activity and showing our clients that we're the expert in charge and that they can trust us. That's a very important conditioning technique for later on when you're going to need them to listen to you and follow your directions in order to write the correct offer. All right, so here's an overview of the class. We're going to double or triple your outbound call volume. We will dramatically improve your conversion rate. We're going to learn a lot about how to find people to call, because I know it's always a big question. We're going to work on finding lists of people to call, generating people to call, and then building systems of people to call. So in the second class, we're going to talk about when I get a lead, how often and by what method do I follow up with that lead. We're going to create a written plan together that will allow you to purposefully follow up with that lead until you convert that lead into business. We're going to work a lot on habit building. Habit building is a big topic of mine. We do a lot of the one thing and a lot of other habit building related activities because ultimately all these are habits. These are all activities that you can automate and make easier. A habit is an automatic behavior, right? You put your shoes on this morning because it's a habit. You didn't spend any mental energy on shoes. We're going to make everything else about lead generation and scripting the same way. We're going to really focus on efficiency. Right? We're wasting time with poor lead conversion, and we're wasting leads with inadequate follow-up. We're going to stop that. We're going to do a lot of scripting. Everything that you learn in the class is the same thing that my team does. My team did $125 million in sales last year. We did $100 million each of the two years before that. So we're going to show you the same things that we're doing. We're going to show you how to do it the exact same way. The launch is Friday, April 13th, so a couple weeks. We have five one-hour webinars. All the webinars are recorded. If you can't make it or if you want to listen to it again, you get that opportunity. We have a Facebook group that you're invited to where we share materials. Um, we set up script partners and answer other questions. In addition, I'm available if you have questions by email, phone, and Facebook to help you. My goal in this class is to really make a change in your business, right? MAPS Coaching and Keller Williams has made a change in my business. I was a $4 million producer when I got here. I did $125 million last year. I have not held an open house in a couple years, right? I want to share with you the joy that I've gained from KW and from MAPS, and so I'm committed to your success. So the sign-up's there. If you have any questions, you can contact me on Facebook or my email, shulmanrd at gmail.com. The website's Marathon Conversion, and we'll be get live in a couple weeks on Friday. I'll stick around for a couple minutes if you have calls or if you have questions. If not, please go ahead and sign up right now at marathonconversion.com. And please share this with anyone you know in your market center who may also want to benefit from this. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great Wednesday, and I will look forward to seeing you on the call. I will stick around a minute for questions.